This is my Park Tool floor pump. I'm going to show you how to do some basic maintenance and repairs on these type of pumps. Uh, this is a PFP3, but the PFP6 is almost identical, so most of the things will be uh, the same on that pump as well. Uh, the first thing you want to check is the pump gasket itself, the main uh, pump gasket. Go ahead and pull the hose off of there, and right under where the uh, hose is held there, there are a Phillips, there's a Phillips screw there, and one on the other side. Go ahead and remove those. Then go ahead and remove the top part here to slide it up and pull the plunger out of the pump. Okay, the gasket down at the bottom of the uh, plunger is, is just a simple o-ring if this uh, gasket is worn uh, you can get a replacement from Park Tool or you might be able to take this to your local auto parts store or hardware store uh, for replacement if the gasket is okay or if you get uh, get a new one just go ahead slide it onto here and then you'll want to lubricate it using some silicone based grease uh, this is Silglide lubricating compound um, just take a little bit of the grease and, and lubricate all the way around the o-ring. Then just take the plunger, slide it into the pump body. You might be, need to help the gasket get in there so it doesn't get pinched. Slide it in. Line up the holes on the cover with the holes in the pump body. Then reinstall the Phillips screws. Now another potential problem you might be having is the pump head itself. Uh, Park Tool sells this whole uh, thing as a unit, so to remove the old one, you can simply unscrew this part here. Pull the old pump head off, insert the new pump head right on there, and then just screw this on tight. Now the easiest thing to do is go ahead and replace this whole pump head as a unit. You might also be able to take this apart and replace the individual o-rings inside there. Um, this part here is a pin, and I'm going to go ahead and press that out. I've got a piece of wood here with a hole in it. I'm going to line the pin up with that. I've got a, a pin punch here. Get that up, and I've got a little hammer, and just tap that pin out. Like that. And there's the pin, and I'll just go ahead and put that aside. Now once you have the pin out, go ahead and remove the handle, and using a small Allen wrench, this is a four millimeter, doesn't matter, just go ahead and push from the bottom, you can push the parts out through the top. And you can take this thing completely apart here. In the bottom, there are two uh, small holes. Uh, these, the smaller one is for the Presta valve, the larger one is for the Schrader valve. Just inside of those two holes uh, fit these two little rubber parts here. Above that, there's these two little parts, and there's O-rings right around the bottom of each one of these and those might need to be replaced. Um, these parts are both slightly different. There's a plus on the one side and there's a hole on the other side. This is for the Presto valve on the side and the part with the plus is for the Schrader valve. Then there's a little rubber ball that fits between these. There's little holes on the sides of these and the little ball gets sandwiched right between those two. And then there's one more part that fits right on top of that and there's an o-ring gasket that goes around that and that might also need to be replaced if it's leaking. Now to put this thing all back together is again as I said there's a small hole larger hole so the press the valve there and I'm gonna go ahead and put these parts in basically the same way they were and I can tell by how they're worn um, this part here has a slightly larger smaller hole and I can tell that that fit down over on the Presta valve side, so I'm going to go ahead and put that down in the Presta valve side. Just push it down in. And then this part went on the Schrader side, so I'm going to put the large size hole facing down and get that 
uh, shoved down into place. And then down at the bottom, you can see uh, just inside the holes there where those little rubber parts are. Okay, now with the little rubber uh, ball sandwiched between these two parts, I'm going to slide these down. The plus side again goes on the Schrader uh, valve side and the, the whole part goes down the Presta valve side. So I'm just going to slide these down into place. And then this part goes down on top of that. There's a part that extends up and that's going to go in away from the hose side. So that's going to just slide down on top of those and I just push that down. And then comes the uh, little handle here and there's uh, printing on top of the handle so that goes on top and that just slides right into there. Now I'll just take the pin, slide that into place, get it lined up with the little hole there and then just tap that back down until it's about equal on both sides, test the little handle and great it's all back together. That's how you do that. Another area where it might potentially be leaking is down here where the uh, hose connects right below the gauge, allows it to, to swivel around. Um, there's some O-rings in there. Just remove this little cap here. And be careful, there's a little, little O-ring in there and it can go like right in this little cap right around there and then this just slides right out and then there's two little o-rings here so if any of those little o-rings uh, are leaking you can go ahead and replace those part tool sells those or you might be able to find them locally that just slides right in there like that and then this just screws on don't forget that little tiny o-ring in there Now another place uh, it may potentially leak is from this little hose here. Just go ahead and unscrew this here. Pull this out, there's a little ring there. And screw it from this end. And there's a little O-ring right there. So you can either try replacing uh, the O-rings or you can replace this whole little uh, hose as one unit. And be aware that there's a small little ball that fits in here, in the base underneath the hose. So put that in there, insert the hose, screw this in, making sure it's not cross threaded. Insert the hose up here, and then screw this on. Just like that. Now if you have any problems with the gauge, the gauge can also be uh, replaced. Go ahead and remove this little collar around the top. Just unscrew it. And don't lose this little uh, pointer part. Now to get this out, put your thumb over the pump head. Press, compress the pump. And it'll push the gauge out. There's a little O-ring down here around the bottom that might go bad, so you might need to replace that. Or you might be able to get a replacement from Park Tool. Uh, if the gauge has gone bad and you can't get a replacement from Park Tool, then you might just need to replace the pump. To uh, reinstall the uh, gauge, first make sure the Park Tool logo is closest to the pump. And there's a little square fitting around here that fits into a square uh, hole inside the little uh, gauge body here. So go ahead and slide that in, just push it in. Okay, the easiest way to reinstall the collar is slide the little pointer part inside the collar. There's a little slot around the inside there. Hold the pump upside down and then screw the collar on. That way the little pointer stars, little pointer part stays inside the slot in the collar and screw it on nice and tight and then test the little pointer make sure that it rotates and that's how to do maintenance and some basic repairs on one of these park tool floor pumps uh, with care uh, one of these things should last for many years I hope that helps thanks